I'm Maria Walther. I'm Jessica Walsh. We're two traveling teachers back after summer break, and both of us did a lot of outdoor adventuring this summer. Yeah. So we're going to um, share a few stories and some books. Yeah. You want to kick us yeah, off? Yeah, I'll kick it off. Uh, my family and I like to spend a lot of time outdoors. Uh, we have two boys, a kindergartner and a sixth grader. And so this summer we did some hiking. We went to the Warren Dunes in Michigan, did some hiking on the dunes. And then we visited Niagara Falls for the oh. first time as a family. And so we did a lot of walking around the falls. And then we actually found some other local falls. Um, there was, was nobody on the trail. So we had really? the, the trails to ourselves, the falls to ourselves. It was beautiful. Um, it was only about 30 minutes away from Niagara Falls. So um, some other beautiful mini falls and traveling. And then I also got an opportunity to go out to um, uh, Wyoming and see the Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park and I was super excited in the visitor center to see a familiar name Pam Munoz, Munoz Ryan and her book Paint the Wind which is a new book for me a uh, new title for me and it's set in Wyoming about a young girl named Maya um, who connects with some horses some wild horses and um, I haven't read it yet, but I'm super excited. And I know from reading the back that um, Pam Munoz Ryan spent a lot of time actually herself in Wyoming to write the story and gather her research for the book. So um, hopefully, I'm, I know her writing's beautiful and it's gonna take me back to Wyoming um, through her words. So I'm excited to dive into this one. And of course you went to the bookstore at Every National Park. Of course, Park, yeah, right, I made right? extra room in my backpack for books. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pair that with, oh, so our summer travels were at Rocky Mountain National Park. And so we hiked and saw, so it's just, we live in a beautiful place. It's amazing. So yes. we had a lot of fun there. Um, and we saw a lot of people not on their devices out on the trails. Yeah, it was and nice. so that Break reminded free. me of this book, Rocket Looks Up by Nathan By Byron. And it's about a little girl. It's t told from her point of view who loves space. She wants to be Mae Jemison. You can see her astronaut uniform there and she wants to see a meteor shower and she has an older brother who all he does is look at his phone and so looks at his phone misses everything along the way finally in the story mom expects him to take her to the meteor shower so he does uh, she has invited the neighborhood everyone comes but then when it doesn't happen they they start leaving and he stays and in the end he puts his phone down and he looks up with his sister mm -hmm. so it's a beautiful book you could pair it with Carmela Full of Wishes by Matt De La Pena uh, so that's Rocket says look up hopefully more kids are doing that mm -hmm.